Hey guys, welcome back. I just found this little clip of Cynthia G talking her madness. It's a little old, but I just want to do my reaction to it. A little bit of the clip because it might be a little long. Just let's see what she got in here anyway. Black men do not love black women. And this is why there's no behavior that they engage in that they can point to that shows that they love you. Love is not just a feeling. It's an action as well. It's a verb. It's something that you do. It's something that you can observe. You can observe. Once again, here we go with the same talking points. I know this is a little older video, but I mean... The problem with women like Cynthia G, they go at the specific type of guy. They want them to love them. They know these kind of men not going to love them. They know they're going to get used. They go after the rich guy, the pretty boy, the thug. Like, we literally got women like Cynthia G getting with men that have five or six baby mamas and think this guy is going to treat them very well. It's going to be good to them. Like, the men that they choose, they cannot comprehend that these kind of men have no good intentions for you. But the guys that's go that will make a good husband, that will make a good boyfriend, they aren't even interested in. So they're going to complain about all men because the men that they choose aren't good enough. Somebody engaging in behaviors that shows that they love someone. That's why there's something called the love language. What is this individual's love language? What does their partner need to do in order to show love? So, and that's another thing. We're going into these relationships looking for love. I'm gonna tell you one thing when relationships actually lasted, like in the 50s and 60s. People were not looking for love. That that was only on TV. People were figuring out we're going to come together. We're going to build a life together. We're going to buy our own home together and have children. And women worked. They were not just trying to rob a man. If there were jobs available, women worked as well. Yes. Because I hear a lot of women talking about let's go at the, the rich guy. Let's go get guys that have money. Like, let's date up. No, 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 no. First of all, you waited too long. You should have got married in your 20s. Because I'm going to tell you, men value the time with you. And by the time you're in your 30s and 40s, the men that you grew up with or you consider a decent partner, they're looking at the 20-year-olds. Men want women at their best so they can actually build with observe them growing older with have them raise their babies we don't see any value in you in your 30 late 30s early 40s or later you can observe love if there's nothing that black men can point to to prove to you that they love you then it is because they don't and I think we know this because if we compare it to what they do to express and show love to women of no color well how did these men get you did they get you off of love? I mean, it don't matter. If you got a guy based off of his looks, that's what you're attracted to. That's what your relationship is going to be built off of. Love comes over time. I mean, it, it could take years for somebody to truly love you. But you ladies want to fall in love, like, immediately, soon as you meet a guy. And that's why you ladies look for the wrong things in a man. And a man or anyone who's not black and possesses white skin for the people who think there's all these different races out here they will be able to provide those answers and you wouldn't even need them to provide it because they make it so blatantly known that everyone can write a laundry list on the ways in which black men show and express their love and so-called preference for women of no color when in reality what black men have is not a preference when you say well, let's be honest, Cynthia. You ladies raised this generation of men that choose to be with white women. They are ashamed. Like, they, a lot of these men grew up without their father. They have no identity. They have no honor. They have no understanding of what they should be doing, of what kind of woman 
they should be choosing. No guidance. This is the reason why. It all comes down to women's poor choices. I'm excluding one and only interested in the other, that is not a preference. Preferences are not exclusionary. Preference means there's two things that you like, i.e. keyword, you like both of them, but one of them you like more than the other. So black men do not have a preference. What they have is self-hatred. What they Now, here she go, black men has no preference. Now this woman is trying to dictate what a preference is. This is something that men chose. Yes, a lot of these young men that grew up without their fathers in the home and they realize what their history is, they do feel shameful of their past. They don't truly understand it because they didn't have their father to explain it. This is what grandfathers and older fathers did with their sons but now we're growing up without father 80 percent of all children being raised by single moms so yes there's going to be a lot of black men that's going to go everywhere else but deal with black women because they are shameful this is what happens when men grow up without their fathers yes and i know other other men do it that probably grew up with a father that's because these fathers don't even know what they're supposed to be doing as fathers and I know it's not all of you guys, but a lot of men just feel like, let's just do what everybody else is doing. Let's let our children do what they want to do. Like, we, we have to guide our children. But, yeah, women are the reason why. They have poor choices in men. They don't even value a man. That's why they choose any guy. They have is anti-blackness. What they have is a disdain for the womb they came from, and they view. And she talking about anti-blackness. This the same lady that says ab abort all black babies. Like, you can't fool us. You truly hate us. While you running around with Pookie, it, it makes no sense. I've had enough of this woman. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace somebody else's womb, the womb that also give birth to the men that they're constantly complaining about, 